Alright, hey everyone, it's me, X Kenadensis, and I have uh, some Craigslist haul for you guys I just wanted to show. I picked up these like 30 minutes ago, and then I just got to this gas station off a random exit to pick up this dollhouse. So, 15 for the dollhouse and 50 for the boxed Barbies, but this one's shredded, but I'm so excited! So, now we're going thrifting, and I have a meeting at 2 in another town, so hopefully I can do everything that I want to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys! Later. Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be a Facebook Marketplace haul. That's right, I drove two hours for something unrelated, and I decided to just see if there's anything interesting on Facebook Marketplace, and there was. I contacted three different people, and two of them answered, which is a pretty good track record for Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, normally zero of them answer. Or if they do answer, it's just like, sorry, it sold. Then take it down off of Facebook Marketplace, please. Anyway, um... I'm very excited to share with you guys what I got. I know there's something really exciting behind me, but first we're going to get into the things that are in front of me. So this lot in front of me that I'm going to show you with four dolls in it was $50, and I think it was a pretty good deal. I'm really excited about all of these, and some of these were dolls that I've been wanting to add to my collection, and some of them are just collateral. That is very exciting. And I'm very excited to finally be able to add Barbies to my collection uh, more regularly. The reason that I haven't been other than when I find them at thrift stores is just because I didn't have the space to display them in my old space so I was prioritizing but now I have the space and I'm very very excited to be able to add more to my collection because I do actually really like Barbie dolls. I know. I know. It's just that I have um, problems with the modern ones. Anyway, let's see what we got. So first, in no particular order, this is the Millennium Princess Barbie. So these are a bunch of like collector Barbies but these are kind of like would you call them playline collector? Just like retail store collector. Like not, I know sometimes the label dolls will end up in stores, but I mean like generally pretty easy to get a hold of type collectors. Um, so this is the Millennium Ball one and she was for the year 2000, which is kind of cool because it's the year after I was born, like five months after I was born, this doll would have been released for. Um, and she is quite beautiful. I'm not really super um, in the know about this particular doll. And a lot of these dolls have pretty torn up boxes, like she has a really big dent here, but I, I'm i not sure if I want to unbox them yet or not. There is one that I know for sure I'm going to be unboxing and you'll see why. Um, the others I'm going to clean up and see if I can pop out some of the issues, but if I can't then I will just unbox them and I have no grievances doing that. I like my dolls unboxed anyway, um, but sometimes I like to have some unboxed and I think this one is really cool. Oh my gosh, it's also showing that there is a Hallmark keepsake ornament and it says Barbie looks dazzling as she celebrates the new millennium in grand style. She holds a beautiful keepsake of the year 2000, a remembrance of this historic moment in time. And I remember it well when I was five months old. I'm kidding by the way. Um, but that's really cute. Really cute. Um, yeah. And I feel like if I were to find her secondhand, she probably wouldn't come with the ornament, so it's kind of a fun thing. Anyway, the next doll, I'm actually not 100% sure. Ah, yes. Okay. So this doll, Oh, I was gonna hold her backwards so you couldn't tell, but you can tell. Um, this doll was the reason that I contacted the seller initially. There's two dolls in here that I was like super, super interested in. The other two um, were collateral, um, which isn't a bad thing. It just means like these were two that were on my radar specifically. I was looking for them. And then the other two were just exciting bonuses. Um, so this is the 2004 Holiday Barbie. This is one of my top two Holiday Barbies that has ever existed. I believe the 2008 one is the one with the pink. That's the other one. This is my top favorite. She has this emerald green dress and she's so pretty. Her box is in pretty good condition, especially compared to the others. It's just pretty dusty. So I think she'll probably end up staying in box, which is a shame because I really want to unbox her, but she looks really good in here. And I love the little snowflakes hanging down. Like how cool is that? So I think she'll stay in box and I'll just hope that I can find one out of box. And like, look, they put a ribbon matching her on the box. And like, I love that the boxes were so interesting. I do have the 20... Um, the 2017 Holiday Barbies, and they actually have really nice boxes, too. I don't know about the more recent ones, though. Um, anyway, it says, Join the tradition. For over a decade, Barbie doll has celebrated each holiday season with a special edition commemorating the year. In 2004, a Holiday Barbie joins the proud tradition dressed in rich green velvet embellished with glittering sparkles. The year's end brings a beautiful world of shimmering frost and perfect snowflakes. During this glorious holiday season, we receive the best gift of all, family festivities, friendships renewed, and wonderful memories to last a lifetime. This keepsake is sure to be treasured by you and your family for generations to come. And then after you finish treasuring it, I will buy it from you off of Facebook Marketplace for like $15. Anyway. <laughs> um, 
I love her. It's just this doll's specific screening is just so gorgeous. And I love, 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 love the dress. The design of it is so pretty. And I'm so happy to have her. I've been with holiday Barbies. I don't buy them online because they're pretty common at thrift stores in box and out of box. So I've just been waiting until the day that she shows up at a thrift store and it hasn't happened. But I found her for a very good price in the box. So worked out. <laughs> um, anyway, the next doll is holiday visions barbie now this doll is amazing i have never seen this one before in my life um that i know of she's so cool her screening is very like fairytopia but i guess it's just that i'm more used to fairytopia than these other barbies and fairytopia is again like what i'm used to and they use similar screenings so pretty um this is the winter fantasy 2003 special edition holiday visions barbie wait it says winter fantasy first in the series 2003 special edition holiday visions barbie so i guess the series is winter fantasy and this is the first doll i don't know um holiday visions barbie and her box is an oh i love this like what was the reason but i love it that is so cool um it says introducing holiday visions barbie the first in our newest holiday series in her winter fantasy ensemble she is as magical as the dawn after a midnight snowfall so i guess that's why oh that's so cool like i love the effect there imagine a glistening winter landscape with the sky brilliant and blue the sunlight is a gift transforming snowflakes into gems covering every tree branch and delicate twig inspired by such splendor her gla her gown glistens oh i messed it up i was so excited to have my like monologue anyway um <laughs> in white upon gleaming white and ooh, glistens in white upon gleam gleaming white and shimmer upon shine the softest velvety skirt gracefully drapes over glittery white mesh luxurious faux fur wraps her shoulders a tiara atop her cascading curls sparkles as does the silvery belt she is truly a vision of beauty for the season <laughs> oh my gosh this is an amazing amazing doll imagine them trying to describe a lot of the modern barbies with like a blurb like this her plasticky dress is sewn with one piece and the back is undetailed because Barbie just doesn't like uh, when people look at her back. Her shoes, this is the 14th time she's worn them this week. I don't know how that works, but it does. Her purse, what purse? She didn't have one. Anyway, I'm joking. I'm not a big fan of the modern fashionistas. Anyway, look at the cool trees in the background. So these are like the... The closest thing I can think of to these are those little branches that you stick in your Christmas tree that have berries on them. That My mom loved those. That's what these remind me of. So um, they're really cool. And she, thank goodness her box is in pretty good shape because she is another one that like has all this special stuff in her box. And if I were to get another one, absolutely I would unbox her, no question. Because, oh my god, I want to see the dress. It's so interesting when they do high quality textiles like this on dolls that most people are not going to open. Because like you can't really feel it you know um wow she's cool i love this big metal piece here and the yeah i love that the coat is fur i really wish i could touch it um <laughs> but gosh she's pretty and i might unbox her it just depends on how good i can get the box looking i'm gonna try my best to restore it i think i want to leave her in box though because this is just such an interesting idea is there something loose like what is that i don't know Anyway, so that is the Holiday Visions Barbie. And again, um, I didn't know about these two just because I literally did not know they existed. And the lot on Facebook Marketplace, when you're buying a lot of Barbies, at least for me, I notice the ones that I want and I'm like sold, <laughs> you know, so I, I wasn't. Anyway, I don't got to explain nothing. Okay, the next one. I don't know if I'm more excited about her than the 2004 one or now the Holiday Visions one. I'm not sure, but this doll is really cool. So this is the Birthstone Collection Aquamarine doll. Oh my god. So these dolls used to be really, really common and cheap online. And now they're, I think they've gotten a little bit expensive, which sucks because so many times I passed up on them. Even at thrift stores, I have seen them and I have passed on them. <sighs> um, And they're so cool these dolls have like all like really interesting screenings their dresses are unbelievable they're so cool and this doll is no exception as you can see her box is destroyed so she is coming right out of this box and i will unbox her with you guys at the end of this video she's just gonna have to cut a couple of ties um it's kind of really long um blurb here our tribute to the March birthstone brings happy wishes for your very special month. March Aquamarine TM Barbie registered doll wears a faux aquamarine pendant on her necklace, which is actually a glittering Swarovski R crystal. 
<laughs> Imagine if that was like how you read. Like that was the um, correct way to read something. You like have to read trademarked, registered trademark, copyright. Anyway, um, get her out of here. Why not? So did you guys know, this is kind of fun because um, I have the Emerald doll here too. Emerald and Aquamarine are both the same mineral barrel. It just has different like extra elements in it. And the same with Sapphire and Ruby, they're both corundum, but um, Ruby, for example, has chromium in it and that's what gives it that red color. That's your fun geologist fact for the day. I got a bachelor's degree in geology. Let's put it to use. I do put it to use. I have a job in the field, kind of, kind of. Ooh, okay. It's interesting. A lot of Barbies do this where they bend the certificate of authenticity. Why do they do that? Also, what is this? Why is there a postcard? Is it in case I had an issue with her? This certifies that your beautiful March Aquamarine Barbie doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel in celebration of your special month. The faux Aquamarine pendant on her necklace is actually a glittering Swarovski crystal. Did they have to put that because like people would be like, hey, this isn't actually an Aquamarine, but this is called the Aquamarine Barbie doll. What gives? <laughs> Probably actually. All right, let's get her out of the box. She has a saddle stand, which sometimes is okay with Barbie. It really just depends. She's now out of the box. Sorry for cutting away. I just, I wanted to make sure to open her really, really carefully. So I didn't want to have to like do it at this weird angle on camera, but here she is. I will say that I'm glad that her box was destroyed, kind of, because she has, this is a problem that happens, I believe from sun fading, because it is actually fixable. And I'm hoping to do, to do a tutorial on that soon, but it, it takes a very specialized setup. So I need to get that ready, but it's basically hydrogen peroxide and UV light. Um, sun damage causes this so i think these dolls must have been exposed to the sun because if you look it's not plastic degradation just from existing and you would know if it was because the places that weren't touched by the sun are not yellowed so the yellowing is actually from um, sun exposure so the way again the way you fix that is with you bathe in hydrogen you bathe the object in hydrogen peroxide and use uv light to reverse it and it's a thing in like retro video games and stuff so i'm hoping to demonstrate the efficacy of doing that for dolls because this is a big problem with a lot of dolls um and some of my childhood dolls actually have this at least one does i'm um, gonna have several dolls in my collection that need this yellowing reversed but anyway i didn't have to feel bad about unboxing her because um, she was already in a destroyed box, so she needed to come out, and even better, she really needs to be unfaded. So I hope that she enjoys her new home. She is my first birthstone Barbie. I have the Zodiac Barbie from around the same time from when I was a kid. My mom bought me the Leo one, but I don't have any of the birthstones, so she's my first one, and she is spectacular, and I hope that I can find more. I used to see them all the time on Facebook Marketplace, so I'm sure I'll find them. Um, I already found one, and this is my second time buying a uh, Barbie lot recently. Well, my third time ever buying a new in-box Barbie lot off of Facebook Marketplace, so I think we're doing decently well. All right, so that was all of the box dolls, so that was $50 total for those four. I think that was a steal. I'm really excited about them, and now get a load of this. I'm gonna turn the camera around. All right, so this behemoth is the other thing that I got, so I paid $15 for this. It was originally listed for $40, but I guess it didn't sell, so it got marked down to 15, and that's when I found it. Probably would have paid 40, honestly, because this is such a cool dollhouse. So this is the 2006 three-story dream house, I believe is the title. Regardless, I'm pretty sure it's from 2006. And that is my, like, prime childhood time. So I like to have things from that era. And this is such a cool set. And it doesn't come with any of the, like, extra furniture pieces, but it does have a lot of the so this i believe is one of like screen windows i'm not 100 percent sure where this goes but we'll see and then i have you know just some other pieces of it hopefully i have a decent amount of it but it's okay because the thing that keeps me from buying dollhouses at thrift stores normally is that things like this will be missing this is the entire third story um when that kind of thing is missing it's like a huge deal breaker but this is not too bad um just missing the furniture although like i would die to have the furniture Sorry, I had, it's a bit difficult to open. I've seen the furniture from this set before and it is amazing, so I would love to have it. I actually have not opened this house yet at all, so let's see. Oh my gosh, oh, the canopy's still in here, look! The canopy! Oh, yay! Oh, that's so exciting. I sure wish the bed was in here, but it's okay. Um, and then we need to flip this piece out. This is such a big dollhouse, it doesn't even fit on my table all the way. Um, 
I don't 100% know where, you oh, this is for this, um, right? I swear to you, something like that. And then you have to attach the third story somehow. I'm not sure how you put it. Do you just kind of stick it up here? All right, y'all, so this is the set all set up. So I don't have any of the furniture, but like the parts that are attached to the wall are really cool. Like look at this hamper. And the little sink in the toilet, like, that's so cool. And then there's a washer and dryer down here, uh, for some reason in the kitchen. I mean, I guess in the apartments, they're sometimes in the kitchen. Um, it's fine. And, like, drawers. I, I'm so grateful all the drawers are still here. Like, oh, this is so amazing. Um, I can't figure out where these go, so if you happen to recognize them, if they even go to this house, please let me know. I looked at pictures, and I can't really tell. Um... I'm really bummed that this is missing because this is so cute, but at least the doors are here because I can just take one of them off or I could take this off and then they'll match. But And I'm also missing this door too, which is a shame. And then I think this house is supposed to make sounds, but that's not really something that I'm too bothered by if it doesn't. Um, and then we have, I have a lot of beautiful collector Barbies that have been coming home lately. Um, this one who was sent to me in the last video, like, ah, or in the last, um, P.O. Box video. Look how beautiful she is. Um, I'm not sure who's gonna live in this house yet. Probably the Fashion Fever dolls, um, if I'm gonna display anybody in here. Um, these, these, like, dolls, like, this, this one, like, I think they're a little bit too luxurious for this one, unless I set it up for, like, a party. I don't know. Um, also, this set has a ton of that yellowed plastic that I need to work on with hydrogen peroxide if I can, um, because I don't believe this was originally this color. Possibly it was, but I think that's yellowed. Um, especially up here, I'll show you. This piece, unfortunately, seems to have dry rotted. Um, I do have the pieces that fell off. Excuse the mess over here. I've been setting things up, so it's been becoming a disaster. But um, anyway, I love dollhouses with staircases specifically. I don't really like the elevator gimmick. Although I will say that I have the Grand Hotel from around this same time, and I like that one's gimmick. I don't know. I think we are missing a piece here. Um, but I just like the spiral staircase. I think it's better. It does take up a lot of space. But I think there's some kind of gimmick where they travel up the stairs somehow. There's like, I don't know. It's interesting though. Um, and it's not too obtrusive. So it still acts as an elevator, I think, but it's not like obnoxious. So that's good. Um, I love this. I'm so excited. And I love the, <laughs> the shout out to the 12 Dancing Princesses movie here because that's the Barbie movie that came out that year. I think there's another dollhouse that maybe has Swan Lake on the TV. I don't remember. Um, but this is so fun. I haven't really gotten to look too closely into dollhouses before now because I did not have the means to own them. They were way too big to exist in my life. So I'm so excited to finally be able to add them to my life. I wonder what this is supposed to be up here. Maybe because it had this in there um but this is also a bed but maybe this is supposed to be a bed for this room i don't know it's pretty small i don't know but i, I like really love the amount of play area that this set has like you could put a lot of your barbie furniture in here you know i think that's super cool although the bathroom is pretty big like it doesn't really need to be this big but it's so nice and this would be so fun to play with um, and i'm so so excited to set it up i'm not sure where i'm gonna set up all my barbie stuff yet but they're gonna need more space than i was originally going to give them because of all these dollhouses and i don't plan on stopping uh with collecting the dollhouses sorry about the my scenes i'm completely tearing down this shelf moving into the other room and the my scenes are going to move that's why they're not like perfectly displayed anymore like they were a couple days ago um but anyway that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching i'd love to know if you find anything interesting on facebook marketplace or craigslist i love them as resources they can be a little bit dangerous so you have to you know be careful bring a friend preferably somebody older than you if you're younger um but it can be a fantastic resource for collecting dolls especially stuff like dollhouses people do not want to ship dollhouses out so these show up often on facebook marketplace i have two barbie a from dream houses already but i see them pop up on facebook marketplace all the time for 50 dollars and under which is a steal for those houses um and I would add more to my collection if I had the space, but I think, I mean, I guess I technically have the space, but I probably shouldn't. Right? Talk me out of it, guys. Please. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Oh, if you have any experience with this dollhouse, like, please let me know <laughs> about it. Like, what I'm, I know I'm missing these two pieces. 
really curious about this. I think I'm missing a piece here, but overall, this is a pretty complete house in terms of the actual st actual structure, and I'm so excited about the canopy. I've never had a doll bed canopy before. The doll furniture from this era is so immaculate. I really hope I can find a lot of it someday. Um, it's so cool. I'm just really happy to have this house. I think it's awesome, and the amount of built-ins are great. Also, I think someone at some point painted this house on the outside, especially. There's a lot of blue paint, so I need to get that off. There's some up there, too. Very weird. Um, yeah. Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye! Oh, excuse her. Jeez, what's going on back there, Blair? Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!